It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wavernick. Plenty to get to on a special Thursday night edition of the News 8 Highlight Zone. We begin with the battle of MVC rivals in the sectional semifinal round of the WIAA Boys Basketball Playoffs. Two teams ranked in the top 10 in the state, Central versus Onalaska. Red Raiders going for the three game series sweep this season in front of a sold out crowd at Logan. First half, Onalaska getting off to a fast start. Jalen Sample steal, takes it the other way. Hilltoppers up by as much as five in the half. Back comes Central, Kobe King hits the three. That gives them their first lead since one to nothing. It's 18-15 Red Raiders. Central then starts extending that lead. Bailey Kale to King, alley-oop and the foul. They go up by 11. Onalaska not to be outdone. Noah Fredrickson to sample. Alley-oop time for them. 29-20 Central lead at the half. Central keeps the pressure on. King again. This time, great move and the lay-in. They go back up by 11. Onalaska would close the gap off the rebound. Tyler Hughes takes it coast to coast and finishes with the underhand layup. Hilltoppers now just down by one, but it's Central. Gets, extends that lead once again. King long pass to a wide open. Bailey Kale and he lays it up. Central, they sweep the series. 58-48 the final tonight. They'll play Wausau East on Saturday afternoon with a trip to state on the line. Great teams always are going to go on runs, so especially Anna playing them for so long. We know they always have the run, so we have to keep our composure. And I mean, we got we got a great group of guys, and uh, uh, we just had to keep battling, and we found a way to, to pull out a close one. Those guys can feel it. I mean, you saw we were up by nine, I think, and they came back in like a minute. So, um, you know, we just saved the course. Each each uh, possession, we uh, you know, we took our time, and we just worked our hardest, and, you know, we came out with a win. Well, the Cinderella from our area has to be Mauston, the five seed winning two games on the road on their way to a regional championship, an overtime victory at Westby, and then taking out top-seeded Bloomer. Neutral game for them tonight at Osseo Fairchild. Mostyn facing a GET team just a couple wins away from another trip to Madison. First half, Taryn Hall finds Travis Erler from the top of the key. Bang, it goes down, and Mostyn jumps out to an early 17-11 lead. However, GET would go on a big run to end the first half. Chris Thompson, Good from beyond the arc, and GET is up 43-34 at the break. Second half action, Mostyn coming out red hot. Arler knocks down another triple. GET's lead down to six. It seemed like whenever Mostyn would get close, the Red Hawks have an answer with a big shot. Alex Pearson, three-pointer, they're back up nine. Mostyn comes storming back again. Hall takes it hard to the hoop, finishes off the glass. That cuts the lead to just one point, and it was all Taryn Hall down the stretch. He gets to the hoop again and scores, and Mostyn has a 62-59 lead. GET, one final chance. They're down by three with the ball. Shot at the buzzer, does not go. Mostyn wins by three, 68-65, as they move on to face Prescott on Saturday. We don't think we're a Cinderella team. We knew that our entire regional and sectional was pretty competitive, probably even all around, so there was no doubt. We didn't have any doubts that we couldn't win any of the games going in. In Division 4, top seed of Cochrane Fountain City faces Partyville over at Sparta High School. First half, Pirates working around the zone. Mason Becker gets an open look, and that's good for three. Pirates pull within two. Partyville, they're clicking offensively in the first half. Nicholas Hanke feeds a driving set. Sulfus for the bucket. Bulldogs are up. 32 to 26 at the break. Second half, CFC rallies. Nathan Orell slashes to the hoop, throws up a miraculous shot. It goes down plus the foul. GT gets hot. Tristan Schmidt next spots up in the corner. Buries the triple. Pirates first lead of the game, 47-45, and they would not look back. It's Urell. Spins past his defender and takes it all the way to the hoop. Senior, big time tonight. Game high, 30 points. And CFC rallies to defeat Partyville 64-58 to advance to the sectional final versus Darlington. I brought everything I had. Um, I don't want to end on a loss. I want to get all the way to state and uh, win everything. But we got to take it one game at a time, one possession at a time. Um, that's what we did here tonight. We took it one possession at a time. We are down six at half and uh, we kept our composure, stayed cool and uh, came out with the W. The Dairy Land, Scenic Bluffs, and Ridge and Valley, all with one representative still alive in Division 5. Bangor and Augusta square off over at Lacrosse Central. After Bangor jumped out to a seven-point lead, 
Augusta fires back with a couple of big threes, including this one from freshman Andrew Perkovich. Cardinals build their lead back up. Caleb Miedema blocking the shot, then tracks the ball and scores on the other end. 28-18 the score, and Bangor would lead by eight at the break. Second half, here come the Beavers. Carter Jacobs' three-pointer. It's a 44-43 ball game. Then it's Jacobs receiving the pass underneath. 25 points for him in the second half. Augusta has their first lead since the opening minutes. Game now tied, 52 all. Luke Reeder drains the basket from downtown Bangor back up by three. And they lead the rest of the way. Theo Mullenberg from the corner makes the score 62-56. Then Drew Johnson, check this out, a little behind the back move, beats the defender, and then a nice pass inside to Reeder. Bangor is moving on with an 85-73 victory. And down in Reedsburg, top seed Seneca falls to Schulzburg 68-63. So it's Bangor versus Schulzburg Saturday over at La Crosse Logan High School. Well, coming up, a pair of big girls basketball games. Winona looking to get the state while Aquinas tries to advance to the state championship. The Highlight Zone will be right back. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. Aquinas enters its first WIAA girls basketball state tournament as the team with the target on its back. The undefeated Blue Golds held that number one ranking all season long. Aquinas taking on Shy Octon in the nightcap tonight at the Reg Center. Division four state semifinal game. Tight ball game in the first half. Lexi Donarski drives and scores. Blue Golds trail 12-11. Shy Octon then works it inside to Jordan Elliott who gets the easy two, puts them back up by one. Aquinas takes the lead and then gets a little separation before the half. Shy Octon turnover right into the hands of Kaya Steiner. Blue Gold's up 23-17. Then Donarski picking a pocket right there and takes it all the way back. That Blue Gold's defense kicking in. They're up 26-19 at the break. Second half, that defensive pressure continues. Donarski, another steal. Passes it to a wide open Medessa Collins for three. 33-19 the score. And then Jessa Peterson finds an open look behind the arc and buries it. Makes their lead double digits once again. And Aquinas winning their WIAA state debut, 56-36. News 8's Brian McClune will have a full post-game report on News 8 this morning. Winona hoping to continue the run they've had over the past couple of years. The girls' basketball team just one win away from making back-to-back -back trips to state. Standing in the Windhawks' way is Northfield in the 1-3A section championship game. First half, Eden Nibbling shows off her range, buries the deep three ball, and the Windhawks take a 10-8 lead. Then Maria Apicelli takes her turn. That's good from behind the arc. And that lead is now up to nine. Big run before the half. Abby Winter to Apicelli. Layup is good. Outscoring them 12 to two into intermission. That put all the momentum on their side. Danica Vogley, nice move off the glass. It's 35 to 22. And later, Nibblink with the dagger. Nothing but the bottom of the net. She leads the way with 24 points. And Winona is going back to state. 59-40 the final with more. Here is News 8's Colin Talbert. Well, the Windhawks fed off the energy of head coach Tim Gleason to end the half on a 12-2 run to create separation and carry all the momentum into the locker room. Unlike their coach, they're sometimes an emotional bunch, and uh, they uh, they played with great emotion there at the end of the, the first half and into the second half and were able to carry that through a uh, big part of the game. Yeah, our goal is just to put some pressure on them, get a couple of steals, and keep our momentum going forward so we can pull off the win. It just helps keep our momentum going forward, and it gets us really jacked, and it really helps us. We were really nervous. This game is like probably one of the biggest of the year and so coming in we were nervous but we were really ready to go and now that we're back it's it's like kind of a, a load off that we get to just we know we're in we can practice really hard now and just be ready for the next game. Well Eden Nimbley one of the five senior starters on this team goes over 1,000 career points tonight in the win. She told me after the game that there is unfinished business after last year's championship loss. Reporting from Rochester, Colin Talbert, News 8 Sports. Thank you, Colin. It was a busy first day of NFL free agency. We go over moves made by the Packers and Vikings next. Uh -huh. 